Now, uh, talking about this place being the place you need to be, we bring you people who matter. Now, this is my very good friend known as Ferdinand Omanyala. Now, Ferdinand Omanyala <laughs> has just put Kenya on the world map. Recently, during the making of Champions Grand Prix in Nigeria, my good friend Omanyala Alionyesha wa Nigeria Vumbi. We have beaten Nigeria on the internet and on Twitter. Now we have beaten them at their own very track, by our very own 100 meter sensation, Anajulikana Kama Ferdinand Omanyala. Now, Omanyala, of course, take a look at this uh, video we managed to capture from. It's an amateur video, should be courtesy. Uh, this is where he did the magic, and we are proud of him, Kabisa. Ali Rarua Mutumba Sana. I mean, I know Nigerians run very fast, but look at Omanyala running as if he's being sent. Yani, even though Sisi Watu kutoka Western, tuna Kimbianga Sailo mei tiwa ugali nyumbani ukitoka shule. And this, of course, where it has ripped benefits for him very well. Omanyala, thank you so much for being our hero. Thank you for being our star. Thank you for flying Kenya's flag high in Nigeria at their own very backyard Uliwa Piga. 10.01 seconds in 100 meters has never been witnessed in this country. I understand that it's still um, our national association has, is yet to recognize that, but we watched it on TV, so we know he is our Usain Bolt. Ferdinand Omanyala, welcome once again on this show. I remember I hosted you here uh, a while back. I, I mean, one of, one of the few first people to host you on a live television show. Again, uh, Ferdinand Omanyala, You've taken um, that, of course, given us that rare opportunity to talk to you. Karibu sana to, on Sports Center. We appreciate for you making time. Happy Easter, by the way, Omanyala. Happy Easter to you. It's, of course, one of your best Easters, awesome. Omanyala. How does it make you feel having beaten our Oga brothers in Nigeria? What did they tell you after finishing that race? <laughs> uh, that race was fine. I mean, like, million hopes I could beat us in Baya. I just wanted to beat these guys, like, uh, I mean, wana jigamba sana, but anyway, the race was fine, the competition was, was okay, here, so that was a blessing, it was a blessing actually for me. Of course, it was a blessing uh, not only to you, but also to us, uh, Omanyala. Um, I, I mean, how do you do it? Let me just ask, I mean, it's it's... We know Nigeria as having, you know Nigerians normally produce some of the best sprint athletes, both in short and those medium kind of races. Um, I mean, why were you outstanding amongst them? You didn't fear them? Am I you are looking like them? <laughs> <laughs> when I got to the airport, I mean, this, there was this girl who asked me if I'm a Nigerian, so I think I look like them. And then another thing is just having confidence uh, over myself, you know, like, before I traveled, I was running very fast times in my training. Even my coach was wondering how these times are coming about. So I had so much confidence and I knew that I'm going to run fast. So that's why we not going to confidence And of course, Omanyala, you, you are having a run of your lifetime. You're having a, a patch of your life whereby you're really enjoying um, your running. Uh, wh what is it different from now and then? Nini ikosai enye uku unafanya kitambo? Okay, I, I like sprinting. Sprinting, like you have to mature. You have to mature. Like, where's it to come, Leo? And then you expect to perform well, Leo. So, like, it takes time. I mean, I, so I think I've gotten to my peak years. So, my peak years have started. So, let's say uh, my muscles have matured now to take over the world now in sprint. Indeed, you, you are indeed taking over the world and we are very happy for you. Um, what is your coach doing different, um, which other people have not been doing different? Uh, because, of course, we've been having sprint coaches. Okay, coach, wako nakufanya nini, ama nakupatia nini, ama muna honggana nini ndo uchikimbie. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's say training. Let's say training. Because uh, nikiangalia the last uh, six months, nimekuwa na train hard. Sometimes I train thrice a day, sometimes I train twice. Alafian is a Sabapia, Kenya Sevens, you know, like I trained with them in November and December. So, I mean, that, that was it, like, that was too much training for me. Something, uh, Omanyala, uh, definitely it has not been a bed of roses for you uh, starting, I mean, your sprints. Just give us a slight history of where you came from until, and where you have been in the middle and where you are and how you have 
literally uh, overcome obstacles? Yeah, so uh, this sport, this sport has so many challenges. For me, I've gone through a lot. I started in 2016 after I was I, after I was I was playing rugby before. So in 2016 is when I picked up into this. This guy gave me an athletics Kenya calendar, and then he told me, "Just man, you're too fast for these guys in the field. So go and try." First event in Mumias, I won. So that's a big step for me because it gave me motivation. I knew I can, I can. So since then, the rest is history. Just like handle each year as it comes, handle each season as it comes. Yeah, so everything just came as in, I was taking everything to Lenakuja. There were challenges here and there. I mean, like, challenges there, injuries. I mean, like, but you know, like mental strength has to come in now here. Because, you know, like you cannot just come and say you want to give up on something. I'm going to say my sport is going to go hard. You wake up some days, you don't want to go and train. Go and train. So I must say like mental strength played a big part. And then the support system, my coach, my girlfriend, you know, like people around me, my brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So, yes. As in everything that's playing around. And you've mentioned your girlfriend. Um, uh, I mean, how do you balance? How do you balance between you are a student, uh, you are an athlete, you are a celeb, you are a father, you are a, a, a babe to someone, you are a babe when you're Valentine. How do you balance all these things? <laughs> I mean, like, professionalism in Kifuka Kwa Nyumba, I mean, like, Kunazia Chainje, Ukingia Kwa Nyumba, you're no longer celeb, you're no longer. You are someone's father and someone's husband, I must say. So I try to keep everything in the house. But I go when can I training when I keep everything in training. I keep like training when I'm going for meetings. I keep, I keep like I handle everything at the time. I mean, that's how I balance everything. Uh, we I have a picture of you uh, lifting up your <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, I, 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 I stole it. I stole it on uh, your Instagram page. Okay, uh, can you explain the kilograms here? <laughs> How do you... Mimi hata siwezi inuka birika yangu ya chai bwana. Wewe picha, yo picha wezi tu ipiga hivyo lazima u practice bara. Lazima u train. Masa na hata na na anaita na ikai hata kama umekunja ikai hata kama umekunja sura sana. Mimi hapa ningekuwa nimetoa veins hadi kwa katikati ya shingo. <laughs> Uh, you, you, know, you know, like, when I say that you don't know, but you don't know the after and the before of that picture. Your picture will take time, bro. You could have pick up. How is your girlfriend? How has been your girlfriend very supportive to you? I understand she, oh, she's also into sports. How has she been very supportive of you? Yeah, she, she is. She is actually. She is like 100% supportive. Sometimes you wake up, you don't feel, you don't have to say anything, but hey, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. So she's been there for me, like, I'm going to encourage you. We've gone through a lot of that. It's really kind of like 16. So since then. <laughs> yes. And you're any poor bro. I'm very happy you can keep um, your girlfriend like that. And of course, uh, your family as well. Mambia and Elei Ivo anafanya kazi poor sana. Because of course, uh, behind every successful Omanyala, there is a lady being yes. lifted up who is enjoying that ride. <laughs> <laughs> but Manuela, let me let me ask you also um uh, your coach um what does your coach feel about uh you your qualification uh to the Tokyo Olympics later this year in June and July what does he think about it and how have you prepared for it so um uh, of course my coach is happy he's very very happy because you know like he's like part of my life saini kimwambia saini make it nabiwa is the first person who will who will take anything <laughs> so like I'm like part of his life, he's like a father to me. So he's so happy about it. And uh coming for the Olympics, like I say, we handled it in the family. We have like four months to prepare. So we handle it week each trip as soon as it comes. The whole four months. So it comes with opportunities, we handle it week as it comes. Okay, and Omanyala, let me ask you, um, uh, I'm just being, uh, my director is telling me something mm -hmm. about you and the challenges of finding a coach. Uh, before you didn't have a coach, when you had a coach, things have changed. Uh, what was happening back mm -hmm. then? You didn't want to have a coach? Or what, has, what, what was different now and then, as your manager rather? 
Uh, or you're saying about talking about my coach or manager? Manager, yes. Tell us, tell us your manager. You before you didn't have a manager. Now that you're having a manager, things are going to plan. Yani, it's not capital is not fall in place to Vizuri. And uh, since because uko na manager, nini ni uh, what? Kitambo okay, ukonda. So, um, um, Manager, manager who come through is going to change a lot. Uh, I can't disclose now who the manager is because we're still in talks with people differently. But uh, uh, manager who come through now will have international races. We'll go for the Diamond leagues out here. We'll go for a challenge. Now it will be easier because managers the connections with these races. But before that, you know, like we, like with my coach, uh, my coach, I started with him. So, like, I trained alone for like one month, just a month. Of, I, I think less than a month. And then we met with my coach in 2016. So he picked up things from there. So I've not stayed without a coach for long without staying a coach. But uh, we've been planning about all this. Like one day we're gonna be a star. I'm going to be a star one day. So now I'm making it to the top. So I don't know. That's what you bless. Uh, and in, of course, Anomanyala, uh, this pandemic. Uh, let's not even forget about the pandemic. Uh, how challenging has uh, COVID-19 restrictions, guidelines, and measures affected your training? Because you seem like there's no COVID. Oh, na kimbi a tube, wana. Yeah, so, uh, uh, it, it may affect, but you know, like, Nikona Coach Usema, like, I don't train. I don't have to train kwa nyazi ya malami. Lazima tutafanya kitu. So, we've been working things out, trying to find places to train. At the start, point where we stadiums, but we could still find places to train. So, yes. lazima training in LA. And uh, then, of course, training lazima in LA. Nani kulize, nani, nani uku motivate? Like, mimi, mi umse uni motivate kwa life yangu, ni, eh, ni uja mana ituwa ganani, eh, awa tuwa maju wa TV. Kuna ule mse mi upenda, ni tuwanga, eh, anamisa ujina hake. Wewe nani uku motivate kwa i world? Ni kina Johan Blake, ni Usain Bolt, na usha yongea na mmoja wao. <laughs> uh, okay, me motivation yangu comes on kwa young black because I may come through, I may picture through a lot uh, yeah. injuries, I uh, a ban of three months, aka. but still he comes back and he was a world champion. Uh, now I think I'm going closer because I'm going to Black Olympics unless maybe in Tamtapa, I have finish line to Tongaya Kidogo. By the way, I'm going to go black. Ni... Yes, ni, ni venye tu sasa eh, sasa itabidi tu tumekunini kidogo alafu sasa Yohan Blake utamlima si ndio <laughs> <laughs> Lazima <laughs> but, but, but let me ask you um, um, the, the, the road ahead before June uh, looks very uh, a bit challenging there are hurdles for you H how do you intend to overcome these hurdles between now and June uh, mm, like i said we handle each week as it comes yes. so for me, I joined but in a in a better place now because I've now qualified for the Olympics. Yep. So the next thing is just continue to train, to train, to train. I believe the international races that are coming through. So yep. focusing now is on the sub ten. Now we want to break the sub ten barrier, and now we're on sub ten. Challenges are there, so we just overcome them the way we did with the first challenges. I'm sure you need more international uh, exposure. I'm sure you need more. Uh, you need to rub shoulders with those who have been seasoned. Nigeria was a good way to give yourself a lot of motivation. Anything that you plan between now and then outside the country, uh, looking at the COVID situation where we, countries are blocking their borders? Uh, okay. Uh, the COVID, COVID situation is affecting international flight, so we can fly out. Uh, about the races, we'll disclose later because now we're still in talks with some race organizers. So we hope uh, we'll, we'll make it public later, but... Uh, for now, we're just keeping things chinyamaji uh, underwater. Chinyamaji. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, let me ask you, uh, let me just ask you and bring you uh, this question um, about uh, who have been, who, who or which companies have been very supportive to you? Because I'm sure you have a support system that has uh, now grown you all along to this point. Who are these people? Who are these companies? Who are these uh, people that you need to appreciate? What are these people that you need to appreciate? <laughs> so I, I can say uh, DBA, DBA, it is at Nimevania, DBA, like Dream Believe Achieve, it's a management company mm -hmm. that is based in UK. So like, as I say, like the previous the previous uh, championship in Nimeenda in Nigeria, they are the ones who paid the ticket and the, and the visa. So this company is coming through so well, so we hope that uh, things will work out well. 
only way to the other time when you support Kidogo, I mean, I appreciate that. But you've not signed a contract with them. But the EBA, now we're working with EBA, and uh, they're coming through so well. I mean, like, they're giving me tips, they're supporting me. You know, like someone to buy you a ticket, I appreciate that. And we appreciate you, uh, by the way, Ferdinand Omanyala. Thank you always. Thank you for always sparing time to speak to us. By the way, we are much honored. Tunashukuru sana. We don't take it for granted that you spare time to speak to us. On an on a Easter holiday, you're supposed to be resting with your family. Thank you so much for always coming through on our show. We will always support you, by the way, Omanyala, wherever you go. We, you're always in our prayers, by the way. Always keep on shining. Do your thing. Forget about the sideshows. We are right behind you. And you'll always be... Yani hata kama ukiana Tokyo, tuta piga nduru ya walu ya uko, tupiga mati. Mituure, simbako uskia vizuri. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anytime. Welcome. Asante sana. Of course, say pass our greetings to your family, your coach, your manager, and the entire team. Those, of course, who have qualified for the Olympics. Asante sana, Fadino Manyala. That's, of course, our national record holder in 100 meters. 10.01 uh, seconds is not, a, is not a joke in athletics. That, of course, you know if you understand sports very well. So we appreciate you. We celebrate you, Fadino Manyala. Keep on doing what you do. Uh, the girlfriend and this family support you, Kijana Kabisa. Mumpatieni kila kitu. Ata sikuwa naoga kwa mtoni. Aoge na shower. Na uje sita pena kwa mtoni tunainama. Tunapiga hii. Alafu tunaoga na tunasugu wanga migu hivi. Asante, asante. Asante, Omanyala. Omanyala, thank you. That's of course my very good friend, Ferdinand Omanyala, who is our national hero in 100 meters. That's of course our Usain Bolt. Remember, this is live. This is Sports Center coming to you live every Monday on Switch TV, 8 to 9.